Honestly, has anybody else seen this hairstyle and just been obsessed with it? Because I've seen it everywhere and I have to do it. Let's get started. Starting off strong with my Lust Brands Irish Seamoss Gel. I like to put that all in my hair first to kind of give my hair a little hard and some texture to grip onto when I'm going in and braiding it. But obviously first I parted it into the same sections that one of the, no, actually both of the pictures had. And then I tied it off into whatever sections they were, were going to be in so that none of them would get mixed up because that is something I haven't done in the past before and I've regretted deeply. So whenever you're parting, make sure you have hair ties close and to tie off the section so that you don't lose them. I had to go back and repart the other side because I realized it wasn't how she had it exactly, so I wanted to fix that. And then I went in back with more Seamoss gel and I started the braiding process. I started super, super small and weaved that hair in little by little. I'll show later like how slow I was actually going. Um, but I had to speed it up because this process was so long, or it felt so long, at least to me. Um, but I'll tell you guys at the end like how long it took and I don't think it was that bad for how much I had to braid So instead of facing my fears and doing the harder parts first I did the easier parts first which would be the front and like the sides of my head and I believe the back is like the hardest part to do because psh, Bitch, I can't see back there. So <laughs> It was hard and it was scary Honestly, I find so much therapy and braiding, like even if I'm like not sure if a hairstyle is going to come out how I like it or if it's going to look good on me or whatever, I love just the feeling of braiding. I don't know. It just, it's just so calming and like, I just love it. I don't know. Does anybody else feel like that? <laughs> I did only braid it halfway. So we're going to stop right where the hair stops on my scalp and just tie it off with an elastic. I definitely should have used all black ones. I think I used a mixture of like clear ones and then black ones, but it's it's fine. It doesn't really matter. Um, and yeah, then I went on to the other side. I wanted to leave some of my hairs out in the front because I just feel so bare and bald if I do not have any hairs out on the sides. And we don't love that. And then moving on to the somewhat back. Here's where you can see how slow I was actually going when I was braiding. See, I'm just, ooh. This is the part where I wish I had my nails because it's so much easier to just like slip my nail in there and like grab the hair and put it into the section that I'm braiding as opposed to this where when I don't have nails, I have to like actually pick up the section until I get to like the bottom part because it's like thicker down there so I can easily just slip my finger in there. But with the top, I had to be super, super like careful and like strategic with everything, which was fine because I am very detail oriented when it comes to my hair, so. This is me counting how many braids I did and how many I have left, which I think I did a total of six braids. So I had already braided three. Y'all, this is when we start to get into the braiding of the back of the head. And also the top of my head is something that's really hard for me to braid. That's why you guys always see me braiding on the side because I've just never been able to braid over top of my head. But with this, I think I was so determined to get it perfect that my brain just snapped into feature and it said, let's go. And then I also had to pull up my three-way mirror to see the back of my head with um, the mirror that was behind me and i really killed it i'm not gonna lie i was so 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 proud of myself my happy dance after my first back braid <laughs> Ah, 
and that was the final braid oh my gosh i just ended up putting my hair in these little buns and it turned out really cute i liked them i feel like i probably could have done more with this hairstyle but i didn't really i think i kept it in for like two days but that's typical ashley shit so you guys are used to that Y'all, I'm upset. honestly so glad I left these like little side pieces out. I wish I would have left more. Like just had like a little bit more curls out. I think that would have been so cute. It's it's the bomb. I think the part that I'm most proud about is the back because I feel like I always struggle with the back, but I must be getting good. And I really took my sweet time with it when I was doing this hairstyle. Such a great like protective hairstyle. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.